Example 5 is how many ways can seven people sit in a row of chairs for a photograph if Jack and Jill must sit next to one another. As I've said before, sometimes it is worthwhile drawing out an example of what this would look like, just one realization. So for example, we could put Jack right here and we want Jill to be next to Jack so let's put Jill right here and then we have five other people who don't have names so we'll just call them Abe, Bill, Chuck, Debbie, and Evelyn. So with those seven we made a bunch of decisions when we were um, putting them in those positions and let's start out let's let's cast this in the following manner Jack and Jill have two different ways that they can sit together. That is, we can have Jack on the left, Jill on the right, or Jill on the left, Jack on the right. So that's one decision you have to make immediately. Now the second thing is, we now have Jack and Jill sitting next to one another, so you can think of them as a unit. And the next decision is, where are we going to put Jack or Jill, whoever is on the left, in this row of chairs. We can put the jack all the way off here on the left if he's if he's on the left position or all the way out to position six so there are six different ways of placing the leftmost of Jack and Jill. The next decision out there are these other five people. How many ways are there to order them from left to right and from an earlier example there are five of them so there are five factorial different ways of placing them. Those are the three decisions that need to be made when you're lining these people up so that Jack and Jill are adjacent. And uh, I worked that out earlier. That is 1,440 different ways to seat seven people in a row of cha chairs so that Jack and Jill alternate.